Hello everybody, it's me, and welcome back to another video. Now, in this video, oh my god, the vacuum cleaner, that is, that's new. Anyway, hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. Now, in this video, I am going to be taking a look at something that's gonna be uber eventually. I'm going to be looking at Tough Lays. Now today I'm going to be using Attack and Speed because this is what it came with and I thought that would be good as well. So basically, attacks that are not the same type as Doodle do 50% more damage but are 20% less accurate. We have glasses, so that basically bypasses that. It's kind of like a uh, fire type Wolfreeze, uh, but a little slower but deals way more damage. So basically with our moves we're using Reckless Charge, Venabite, Crunch, and Fiery Bite. Um, you can totally uh, use Heat Bash whenever it actually gets it. It doesn't get it right now. Um, it gets it as Rough Fire, but Rough Fire does not evolve yet. So, I'm settling with Fiery Bite. And then we have Reckless Charge to help against um, Metal, like, help against, like, Clangatang. Uh, Venabite to help versus plant types like Moss that try to come in against all of our moves. We basically have a lot of really good coverage. It's going to help a lot. And I'm very excited to see how well this duel is going to perform. Now here we have, actually I should make this Smoldering Hood. Smoldering Hood, Ruby Pendant, and Decorative Katana. I'm going for all out damage. We have 31 extra, we have 151 attack if I'm correct. And that is absolutely insane for Tough Lays. It's just gonna be dealing so much damage, it's gonna be insane. And while also giving us a little bit more speed, so we have 85 base speed, which is really nice. And also this is the first of four videos I'm pre-recording because I'm actually going to be going out of town tomorrow on Thursday so all these videos that you're seeing are going to be pre-recorded so just know that I'll unfortunately miss the uh the premiere of the Halloween event for Doodle World and hopefully not the Lumen Legacy one hoping that I don't miss it but yeah we have 85 speed basically and 151 um melee attack so that's very exciting do we because that four three 31 152 actually okay i did the math wrong there but yeah anyway i'm excited hopefully you guys are as well and to check out the team here um we have our water resist um our earth immunity our electric immunity uh i don't have a mind resistance but it's okay mind types suck uh anyway all right let's hop in the first battle Okay, and here we go into the first battle. Now, this one looks incredibly good for Tough Lace. We get it on the field and we get to just crunch something and it's going to deal way too much freaking damage. Um, okay. I'm a little worried about Taruma, but we're going to hopefully be able to deal with it with Abyssin. Hopefully. I don't know. Um, we could lead off with it, honestly. I'm going to lead off with it, actually. His lead is Moss. Oh! We could one-shot Moss immediately. Hold on. We could kill Moss immediately. We just killed Moss instantly. <laughs> Let's go! Tough Lays! Let's go! <laughs> w. Okay, this is definitely going to be a rumbling charge so we're gonna go into Grufflin and if it's a shield bash that's totally fine too <laughs> now I feel like I can just food fight and get some good chip on it quick strike perfect it's gonna be a lot of really good chip yeah very very good chip now I'll probably go for a uh, probably just go for a feast here so I can heal back up Shield Bash comes out, totally fine. And now I'm gonna go for my hit and run so I can go to Cerebipod. Or Abyssid, but I think Cerebipod's my better option, so I'm gonna hit and run. Let's go to Cerebo. If it's Rumbling Charge, that'd be quite unfortunate. Okay, it's not good. Very, very nice there. Dealing with Truma very well. Tough Lays is gonna pop off, dude. <laughs> Okay, let's go. He can't switch into this now. He doesn't really have anything that can go into this. Um, I'll just rust then. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna let me get this. That's really good. Okay, taking out a uh, Truma is really good because that that gives me a really good advantage. So taking out Taruma early 
is very good. We already have two doodles down with Tuffle still in the back ready to pop off. He didn't die. Okay. That was not meant to happen. Who's most useless here? Probably Taruma. Probably my own Taruma. Uh, do I need Cerebo? I would love it versus a Noxious, so I'm gonna keep Cerebo Pot around. Um, and I'll just go to this and sack it. <laughs> I have to, unfortunately, sack this. Oh, I don't. Sick, I killed this. That's really good that I actually ended up killing this. Um, he'll rip current with Abyssant, but I just get to go into, um, Abyssant, my own Abyssant after this. Quite unfortunate that my Rust didn't kill, but that is totally, totally fine. I want Cerebopod to be healthy to deal with Xenoxious, because although it has Hexblade, I should be able to uh, do some good work against it. Yep, and this can go down. It's totally fine if this goes down. I don't need it. I don't need this. I would like it, but it's fine if I don't use it. It's fine if I don't have it. I mean, there's no reason for you not to rip current, buddy. Just rip current. I know you want to. Just rip current. There's no reason not to, buddy. And he let me shield bash it. That's really good. Okay. I bet he thought I'd go into Abyssant. That's why he did that, but that ended up working out very well in my favor. Um, okay, this is really good because I can now go into, yeah, you know, I'll go into Cerebo. And I'll Toxic Bomb, take this thing out. Actually, if he goes into Theoterra, that's also fine. Okay. This thing on the field a little worrying. So no burning orbs coming, right? Or or I go tough lays on burning orb. <laughs> this arm is fine. This is oh uh, this kills something here. Because <laughs> I hit this thing super effectively with my uh, crunch. Something's gonna die here. Something either gets hit. Either I, I kill a, a Bissent or Grufflin, or Xenoxus comes in and takes way too much damage. I don't think Theoterra takes this. He has to go Xenoxus. No, he lets me kill... Uh, oh, he doesn't... I didn't kill it. Darn. What attack do you got, man? 191. I got a lot of attack, but that was most... It was probably a very melee defensive Abyssin. Okay, I can go to Cerebo. <laughs> He'll probably rust, though. If he rusts here, that's smart. No, okay, he just lets me take this thing out. <sighs> that's very, very good, because now nothing's stopping my Abyssin from winning. But dude, Tuffley's putting in the work. Threatening this guy. Okay, yeah, he's forced to go into this. Um, I'll go Abyssin this time. We need to get used crayons on Abyssin here. Not champion belt. Beautiful. And now I get to just flash and strike, and he can't stop me. I can take this out, and then I can do so much work with the flays. I Cerebopod is very healthy, Volt Enchant's very healthy. Yeah, okay, that kills that. Beautiful. Okay. Um, I'm assuming Xenoxious. <laughs> I'm assuming Xenoxious comes in. Yeah. So, he's a speedy Xenoxious, because of his name, most likely. So, gotta go into Cerebopod. If he Hexblades, he's very smart. Very smart Hexblade if he goes for it. Disarms. Okay, I'll live Hexblade in this range, so I can very easily just go for my Psycho Force. And if he goes into Grufflin, I just go into Tuflays. Go for a Psycho Force. He went for the next way. That's not killing me. Yeah, he missed. So that wasn't killing me anyway. That doesn't matter. It wasn't going to kill me anyway. All right, now we're going to get Tough Lace on the field safely because I want Tough Lace to be able to kill the Grufflin. Um, yeah, let's just, uh... I'll just spam... I just want to die. I'll just set Lingering Poison. I want to die, so... Yeah, Tuffle's doing very good. Put in a lot of work killing Moss instantly. Very happy with that. Then we get to go into Tuffle's and we'll end off this game. 
All right, let's go to the our our minty skin tough place. And let's go for a crunch. Hopefully this one shots. This should one shot. Man, you're pretty much forced to hit and run here. Come on. Nice. The place is crunch. Yep, takes that out. GG. Good game. Good, good game. Anyway, that's a very, very good first battle. Let's hop to the next one, shall we? Let's go. Pause. I could have sworn I pressed the pause button, but I guess it didn't exist. Okay, this next one. Uh, okay, whatever the heck then. All right. Uh, he's glitched. Okay, then. Okay, part two. Um, okay, I like how I brought Taruma here to deal with the Kronos. Taruma's very good here. Taruma helps a lot in this game. Uh, Grufflin's also very, very strong. Regardless of three things resisting its stab, I also get to fully counter uh, Grufflin. Which, I mean, spear you. Um, I'm gonna lead off with it. Again. I think it could pop off and do a lot of work. So we lead off with the Teflays. Oh. Do I want to take this hit and run and he just goes into Cerebopod? I don't think I want to take that hit and run and he just goes into Cerebo, so I'm going to go into my own Cerebopod. I'm not taking the hit and run right now. Okay. I'm assuming Spear You pursuits me now. I'm assuming Spear You pursuits, right? No, really? Okay. Uh, well, I know he's just gonna go for his, uh... Fairly certain I know it's coming. He's gonna lingering. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna let him lingering, because he has two poison types, I only have one. Yeah, he's not- he doesn't get his lingering poison off today. Okay, um, let me rumbling. If he goes into Gruffline, I just could go back into, uh, Cerebral Pod. Oh, beautiful, he let me get it off. Oh, that's very nice. Regardless of Rust hitting here, that's really good that I got Rumbling Charge off. Because he's going to swap now. Because he does Yeah, that doesn't deal enough. Okay, he's swapping now, so I'm going to go for a Shield Bash. It's going to deal way too much damage is whatever the heck swaps in. Unless he wants to get more chip to where Quick Strike would kill. Nope, he just goes probably into Grufflin. No Spear you, actually. That's very good. Shield bash that. Yeah, that is. And that's very, very good. Okay. Go for a rumbling. But yeah, Taruma is definitely going to pop off this game. He has no typeless resist. So Taruma just kind of pops off. Yep. I think Taruma just wins now, actually. I think Taruma just wins. Yeah, I actually think Taruma just wins this game now. I'd have to go in against Super Pod one more time. I don't think it actually one shots this. So I'll go into Super Pod. Get rid of those lingering poisons. Rust, beautiful, take almost no damage. Okay, that's very good. I'm assuming an agitate's gonna come out here. Um it's Psycho Force. He's gonna switch probably into zone cerebral pod? Yeah. Oh! Okay! Okay, hold on. Kronos? Yeah, Kronos comes in. Um, Taruma's a little low. I'm going to this, though. I resist that. Yeah, that's very good. But is it burning orb is the question. Regardless, I, I can shield bash. How much does this do? Okay, that's good. That's very good on Moss. Actually, if I beat Moss 1v1, I could win. Yeah, I'm gonna try to beat Moss 1v1. How much does this do? That is enough to wear it with 2 KO. Okay, that's good. I'm assuming he's just gonna rust. That's fine. I'm pretty sure I would still live Springling's Quick Strike if my Rumbling Charge gets me up to plus 2. Let me Rumbling Charge. Pretty sure I live Springling's Quick Strike at plus two. Let 
Because this thing is a threat to him. It threatens him. Yeah. I get to probably pick up another KO here. I would assume Cerebopod comes in. Just so then he doesn't... He takes minimal damage. I'm assuming Cerebopod's gotta come in here. But if I kill Cerebo, nothing... No, there's only Kronos in the way of stopping Tuflase from just winning. But I have Bolt Enchant that helps me versus the uh, Kronos matchup. But I would love to keep this around to deal with it. Yeah, he goes into this. I don't think a plus two shield bash takes it out, and I want to keep this around to deal with Kronos. I know Rust is coming. Let me go into um, Super Pod. If he lingerings, he's very smart. Okay. Now I'll double. Double into Waffles. Then I get to food fight and get a lot of damage on something. Which will be very good. Yep, I, I'm not letting him lingering. I'm not gonna let him get his free lingering poison up, which would help him a lot. Let me food fight. This is gonna do a lot to Cerebopod, but he could totally also just Toxic Bomb. But it's not- I don't think Toxic Bombing here is worth it. I don't think that was really worth it. Even though he crit me, I don't think that's worth it. Because now he's forced to go into Spring unless he wants this to die. Um, which I could totally take this out. I'd love to hit and run on Springling, because I think I think he keeps this around. But even then, I think Tuflase can still kill it. I'm just gonna food fight and take it out. Yeah, he does he does go to Springling. He goes into Springling. No, he actually goes into his own Gruffling. Okay. Now if he food fights here, he's very smart. Food fighting here would be smart. Um I'm gonna have to get rid of these traps. And if he ends up getting his traps up, I'll just go into Taruma, because I can sack that. Food fighting here would be smart. If he hit and runs, that's also fine. Yeah, food fighting is fine. That's fine. Okay. I gotta get Tuflaze on the field. Oh, I could do it now, actually, on the food fight. <laughs> I quad resist that. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Don't lower my accuracy. Okay, this is very, very good. Because I just crunch. I could fiery bite, but my accuracy just got lowered. Hit and run. That's very good. Okay, this is going to deal tremendously big damage to anything that switches in. If Springling swaps in, it ain't dying, but it's going to take a lot of damage. That's dead. Beautiful. That is the threat out of the way. That is very, very good that that is now dead. Because now nothing is stopping Tuflase from just winning. He goes back into this, actually. He's just going to go for another uh, hit and run. I'm going to Cerebo. Perfect. Yep, really good chip. He's going to go to his own Cerebo pod now. Does this thing have Shatter? I forgot to do I, I think Tuflase has Shatter, right? Does it? I could have actually sworn it had Shatter at one point. I guess you can use that over Reckless Charge, now that I'm thinking about it. I'll just take this out. Now that I'm thinking about- He crit me and lower magic defense. This guy is too powerful for me. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm pretty sure Tuflaze has re has Shatter. If I recall correctly. I think you should use Shatter over Reckless Charge. Now that I'm thinking about it, that's what it should use. I'll probably put a disclaimer at the beginning of the video saying that. 
um, that I made a mistake. I didn't get my plus one, unfortunately. Uh, disarm's coming out. I'll just go into this. Good chip. Very good chip. Who do I sack here? Who's most useless? I mean, Abyssin's still helpful against Grufflin and does good damage versus Cerebo. I think I could just get rid of this now and then go back into Volt Enchant and Psycho Force. Yeah, I'll just do that. N yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put a little disclaimer at the beginning of the video that Tefle is meant to have Shatter, not Reckless Charge. Because I'm now realizing that Shatter would be much better. I think that's a Volt Enchant victory. Actually, no, it could be a Tuflay's victory. It could be a Tuflay's victory. Watch him lingering. His only chance right now is to lingering and then spam a feast with Grufflin. Yeah, that's his only chance. Yeah, he lingering because he he need, he wants to set up. Yeah, food fight doesn't kill me. And plus, I might have to speed it. Room <laughs> shockwave, just so I don't miss. This goes down. There's no point in saving this. Yeah. Yeah, I am now realizing how much better um, Shatter would have been in this game. Because it would have been able to beat Cerebopod 1v1. Probably should have realized that sooner. But it's okay. I'm realizing it now. So I'll probably end up grabbing Shatter. And that's a GG. Good game. GG. Good game. Good, good game. Anyway, let's hop to the next battle with Shatter this time. Let's go. Uh, turns out does not have shatter. Okay. I, oh, it got removed for reckless charge. That's right. I forgot. Okay, let's go. This looks terrifying, and I don't want to fight it, but we're gonna go anyway. But I really like Volt Enchant this game. Volt Enchant's very good this game. I also very much like Tough Lays. Um, I would have really preferred Clangatang this game, honestly, over Taruma, but it's okay. Uh, I also like Abyssin. Abyssin's pretty good. I have I have Cerebopod that checks both Wolf Freeze and Goma, which is really nice. Um, I'll lead off with Tuflaze, honestly, against the Wolf Freeze. I could take this out instantly, but there's no point where I can just go Cerebopod. I got frozen instantly. That's hilarious. But does he attack again and take more chip? That's a good question. <clears throat> or does he go into Metacro? If he goes Metacro, I double into Tough Lays, but I think it's too risky. Yeah, he just attacks again. He's taking too much chip. I don't like how I got frozen instantly, but it's okay. Um, I'll go into Abyssin. I'm forced to go into Abyssin, sadly. <laughs> and he lowered my defense as well. Back into Cerebopod. He had to immediately freeze me, right? Like, he just had to instantly freeze. So Abyssin's gonna have to die here. But Abyssin's so good this game. Its flashing strike is almost unresisted. Ugh. Why did he freeze me turn one? Be original and stop spamming that move. Do an icy bite. It's unfair. It's unfair that he froze me first turn. It's it's immensely unfair that I just got frozen turn one. Finally. Jeez, now my counter to that, to this thing is dead. Um, he got 
magic attack. Why did everything go so wrong in such a short amount of time? How did it go so wrong so fast? It went, it went so wrong in every form that it could go wrong, it went wrong. I got frozen turn one and I lost, I, we're just going to have tough lays carry basically. That doesn't kill. This guy is annoying. Why did I get frozen in turn one? Rip current. I just died a rip current now. It's hilarious how quickly status can just ruin you, but I, I can still win this. Is he quick strike? No, he's just gonna rumbling. I ain't gonna let you get your rumbling charge off. He is quick strike, okay. Good to know. Can Cerebopod be unfrozen? Because it is highly useless right now. Reckless Charge would kill, but it's stab and I have a lot of attack, so. <laughs> we gotta go for it. Because I got frozen turn one. That's annoying. He's faster. Are you kidding me? That would have killed. Oh, no. Okay, and here we go into the next one. So, let's hopefully not get frozen turn one by Polar Guy. I don't think he can even freeze. Luckily, we're safe from being frozen. Um, so, Tough Lays is very good this game. Like, it's, it's very good this game. Um, gotta use it right though. Let me go into, let me, let me lead off with it. Archipos lead. Archipos is gonna Electro Slash, right? Let me go into Volt Enchant on the Electro Slash. Nice. Okay. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Very good start. Now let me Gem Blast. My 101 speed stat is very good. More Veil comes in. does a little bit. I'm plus two right now, but I am very much walled by that. We go into waffles. And he sleep spores. Uh, okay, so did he enlightenment or instantly switch? He enlightenment did it? Dude, that's not what Morvale's supposed to do. You can't just enlightenment spam and hope it works. I'm just gonna kill it with hit and run. I might not actually, cause I'm not fully invested in attack. Nice, okay. Now I go into Volt Enchant. Double into tough lays. Ambush. My brain, it's too, it's fried. My brain is fried from all these t 
two tr trillion IQ plays. <clears throat> Morvale? It's gonna be original and go Morvale, right? Odd choice on your part. So if this isn't kind of fully walls you. Jeez, man, what is it with you in status? I fully wall you, buddy. Don't try to harmony. Good, he's switching into probably Clyde Scum. Okay, Clyde Scum is in. And here's Cerebopod. Disarm is fine. I just now get to set up my lingering poison and something gets poisoned, which is really nice. Once he switches into more veil. Let me lingering. <clears throat> oh sick, he's gonna let me lingering. That is very, very good. Cause now I now I can just psycho force. Oh, he's gonna continually try to break me. Although I have a super effective move on him. I don't think he knows that. But the question is, would he save this? I think he saves it and goes more veil. I'm not toxic bomb. Never mind. Alright, I guess I'll go into this then. He kinda is just clicking buttons really quickly. But I can respect it. Take it out with a food fight. Tuflees still pops off this game. I just gotta get Polar Geist not at max health so it doesn't get priority ice stream. Oh, now I just, everything's poisoned on his team. That's really good. Um... Isn't this just a hex blade? I'll hit and run. I'll go to Ruma. And a gem blast. Ruma breaks Archipos real. Disarm again. He doesn't have Burning Orb apparently. It's probably Jealousy. Nice. We do take out the Archipos with Taruma, which isn't supposed to happen, but we had Poison Support and we had Gem Blast. Okay. This is good that this is now in the field because I don't relatively need this mod anymore. So I guess I could Rumbling. It's just gonna snowball though. Just snowball, man. Don't tell me you're actually going to try to do what I think you're going to try to do. Because, buddy, I got a Bissent which fully walls you. Wow. Look at that. Who could have seen that coming? I completely stopped his attack by switching into a doodle that completely walls him. You gonna harmony me again? Yeah. Polar Guys players don't take a lot of brain to play. I mean, they just harmony and then hex, harmony, hex, harmony, hex, harmony, hex, harmony, hex. That's what they do. That's how they play the game. It's harmony, hex, harmony, hex, harmony, hex, harmony, hex. Tell me if you've ever seen a, a Polar Guys player that doesn't click harmony on something that is awake. Because every time I do, I always see them just click harmony. Every time. I want to get to Flays on the field because it's crunch just kills something. I swear, if he sleep spores on Morvale here, why are you going into this? I get the idea of why you're going into this, but there's not really a point. I just rust. Yeah, I outspeed and rust you, buddy. That's not gonna kill me. Yeah, that's not gonna come close. I guess we can shockwave and can take it out. I don't think Rust, I don't think Rust would kill. 
going to Morphale. Why are you not going? Okay. I guess Tuflays just can win now. I'll take this thing out. I'm fine with that. Is he just gonna ambush? Showing that he has ambush for some odd reason. I mean, I get why he has ambush to stop things from walling him, but it's not good with ambush. And <laughs> I take zero damage, buddy. Okay, going to Grufflin. Kill me. Let me go tough lays and win the game. Thank you. What do I do that doesn't kill? Everything I have kills him. Uh, I'll go to this and die. Because everything I have kills. <coughs> and I ain't gonna die like that. <coughs> you just had to food fight. You literally just had to food fight. Listen, Morvale. <coughs> if you go for any form of setup, when I Psycho Force, just Shadow Bolt, please. Just kill me. Don't try to sleep, Sport. Come on. Just, just. Oh, God. Why? Why? Morvale has one thing it does is push up to sleep in enlightenment. Morvale sucks. Yeah, now I won. Okay. Bye-bye. Tough is going to end up crunching his way to victory. I've literally only clicked Crunch and Reckless Charge. Let's click Fiery Bite. I have glasses, so I will always hit Fiery Bite, which is nice. Now I can just Crunch. Hit run. Not going to do enough. And that will be a G. G. Anyway, guys, that'll end off this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like subscribe down below. It is very, very helpful. But anyway, I'll see everybody in the next one. Bye-bye.